If you own a boat, four-wheeler, lawnmower, generator, or just about anything else that runs on gasoline, chances are you've accumulated some of these 5-gallon containers. I bought three of these at Walmart for my jet ski, but when it came time to fill up, I realized how terrible the nozzles were on these fuel cans. And when the ski was in the water, it was even more of a pain. So instead of modifying the nozzle to keep pouring gas like a caveman, I hopped online to buy myself an inexpensive fuel pump. At the time of recording this video, the pump is around $14 on eBay, however last spring when I bought it, it was $20 on Amazon and only $8 on eBay for the same pump. So here is the pump. You may notice mine has a slight modification, which I will explain shortly. It's a very simple design, takes two D batteries, has a little switch on the top to start the pump. The side has grooves allowing it to slot into most fuel containers. And it comes with a little hose to push fuel into whatever it is you are fueling, but I would recommend throwing a zip tie or something on the little outlet here to prevent leaks and keep it secure. Also, keep an eye on this thing down here because mine has popped off like once or twice. Luckily, I haven't lost it and it hasn't fallen off in a fuel container yet. And it's advertised online to run at about 1.3 gallons per minute, but I feel like with some good D batteries, it actually runs faster than that. I think at one time I had timed it at around 3 minutes. But it doesn't push out all five gallons depending on the shape and you know whatnot of your fuel container because you know mine are kind of awkward so i have to hold them at an angle to get all the fuel out and but you know at that point there's maybe only like half a gallon left and i can just throw the nozzle on it and pour it manually now it's time to talk about the fatal flaw of this pump and the reason why i made this modification to it it's borderline criminal that these things are manufactured like this because it's like almost guaranteed for failure so the pump worked great on my first run and then a week later i went to use it and it was completely dead so the first thing i did was change the batteries and that seemed to work but the pump felt slower and then eventually later on i used it again and it just cut out while it was fueling so something was wrong here and i shook the pump and then this happened Something wasn't making contact properly, so I decided to open the pump up. And that's when I discovered this. This little tiny hair thin wire that goes from the little ring at the top of the pump down to the motor. And uh, the reason why it goes to this ring is basically because the switch when you screw the cap onto it makes contact with the ring and completes the circuit. Here's a diagram, I'll kind of show what I'm talking about here, but anyways, this wire was broken and needed to be repaired. So I dug out a piece of old speaker wire and got to work. And in the end, it worked great. I did this modification like very early into the spring and then probably, you know, used the jet ski until August. So I got many months of use out of it and only used one set of batteries after I had, uh, fixed the thing because I'm pretty sure the batteries I threw out the first time were perfectly fine but oh well. The final verdict is is that it's a decent pump if you can get over its design faults. If you buy one of these be prepared to rerun that wire. Link to buy ones in the video description. I've had mine for almost a year now and probably pumped like around 30 or so gallons of fuel with it and it's still going strong. And if you found this video useful leave a like, subscribe, watch the previous video and stick around for the next one. Thank you and have a good day.